Hello guys, Crisp here and welcome back to another video. Today my friends, I'm going to be testing the HD 3850 in 2020. This one, as you can see, is a passively cool GPU, but you're actually looking at the back side of the GPU. Yes, this is the back, this is the front of the GPU. Usually you will see the fans over here and the heatsink, but no, in this one, uh, you install it like uh, that in your system. This is like, this is not straight. It's not horizontal, like what? <laughs> it's kind of weird actually. <laughs> it does require a six pin power connector despite it only consuming 75 watts of power. It released back in 2007, so it's actually the third GPU from 2007 that I'm uh, testing here in the channel in one of these videos in this format, you know. It has 512 megabytes of GDDR3 memory and it released for $179. Now it can be picked up for like five bucks. So let's see if it's worth your McDonald's lunch money, shall we? <laughs> All right, everybody, we are now in the desktop. You can see the GPU showing up there in MS Afterburner as well as GPU-Z. Very interesting transistor number right there, guys. 666 million. The test system consists of a Ryzen 7 3700X and 16 gigs of RAM, uh, which is totally overkill, I know, but it, it won't make this GPU run faster. I always get these comments saying, oh, you're running a Ryzen 7, so the, the GPU, this is not the performance of the GPU the GPU will be running at 99% usage. We're seeing exactly what the GPU can do in this video. So with that out of the way, let's get into our first game, which is CSGO. And let's go through the settings right now. I'm playing at 720p resolution using the lowest settings, as you can see. Uh, not bad, not bad at all, my friends. Now, of course, this game is CPU bound. It's very, very light on the GPU, and that's why we're seeing such like high FPS. If the GPU wasn't capable of delivering these FPS, you wouldn't be seeing these FPS. All right, guys. Oh, come on, let's go. Nice. And also, if you were running a Core 2 Duo or something like that and getting like 50 FPS, it's not really the GPU's fault that you're getting 50 FPS. It can actually run at 100 in something FPS as you can see right now. So if I was bottlenecking it with the slow CPU, it wouldn't really be a GPU test. I'm just talking too much about that. I'm gonna stop it right now. I think I, I have clarified everything. I'm sure I'm still gonna have a, a couple of comments uh, as always saying that the Ryzen 7 is doing everything and I'm only getting these frames because of that. But uh, yeah, okay. Oh my God. Okay. All right. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's a bot. That's a bot. I'm not gonna die to a bot. I, I don't I, I died to a bot. Oh no. <laughs> you know what, guys? I was honest. God damn it. Oh. You know what, guys? Um, I actually didn't expect these kinds of frames coming from this GPU. This is perfectly playable. 1% lows are above 60 FPS. I think uh, they actually optimized this game a, a little bit again for the old GPUs because uh, it used to stutter, but now it doesn't. Uh, at least not as much as it did like a month ago or something like that. So that's awesome to see. What, what do you want? Let, let's, yeah, let's knife each other. Uh, yep, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And that's, that's the guy again. No, that's bot Pavel. All right, <laughs> I got my revenge. Wait a second, wait a second. It's not a bot. That guy's not a bot. That, I have been mistaken my entire life. Oh God, okay. If you find one of these for like five bucks and you have a GT710, this is actually faster than a GT710. <laughs> I can't stop mocking the 710. I'm so sorry, but yeah, it's I think it's performing way better than that GPU in CSGO oh, There we go. There we go and There we go and Triple triple there we go. That was a little bit messy. Oh Go oh, nope. Nope Yeah, gosh I am first! I got him! I, no! <laughs> no! I hate that lemon guy! No, my god! Okay, 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 there we go, there we go. Can we finish first? Oh my gosh, I don't even know. No, oh my gosh, I got the lemon again, I got the lemon. We're, we're in, we're on top. Oh! I am trying so hard to get this. Nope. Yes! Yes! 
We did it! First place in CSGO with a 13-year-old GPU. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> it's time for GTA 5. Not really sure what to expect, so I just set everything to the lowest settings at 800 by 600. Here we go. As you can see, normal settings are actually the lowest in this game. Advanced settings are all turned off. And... Um, well, it's not too bad. It's actually quite decent, guys. If it manages to stay above 30 FPS all of the time, I will call this a very playable experience. To my surprise, okay? GTA 5 is kind of optimized, actually. It's stuttering a little bit, though. Yeah, 1% lows are going down really fast there. I, I guess just don't drive cars really fast in this game if you have a GPU like this. It's not as smooth of an experience as... Uh, other GPUs, for example, the 8800 GT, but it's not too bad either, you know, it's it's playable. It might actually be playable for some people even with the stuttering issues. Even I, if I put myself into it, if I really wanted to, I would be able to play like this, uh, so... It's not too bad, guys. The game doesn't look anything special at 800 by 600, but if you really want to play GTA and have one of these GPUs, it's fine. This is usually the most demanding area in my benchmark run, but uh, not today because we're using the low uh, grass settings or the normal grass settings. Hello, Jack. And I think over here inside of these bushes is where we usually see the least FPS. 39. This shouldn't be as fast, so the VRAM might have time to adjust. Uh, as you can see, if you stand still, it's not itching. Like, the, the frame time graph is completely smooth, but whenever you drive really fast it starts rendering in new textures so that's why it stutters maybe maybe with a car like this it will be a little bit smoother it still has a little bit of spikes you'll need something even slower than this maybe like a bicycle okay so GTA is somewhat playable so my friends, this is Dota 2 right now, and we're running it at the 720p resolution, as you can see there, 1280 by 720 with the low settings and 100% render scale or resolution scale, DirectX 9 API as well, and I'm gonna start counting our FPS right now. As you can see, it's quite a smooth experience. I believe in team fights, it should actually drop like from 60 FPS a couple of times here and there, but it's still a very playable experience right here guys you shouldn't have a problem running this game on a 3850 and i am very impressed to see these results actually once again you know what with these kinds of frames in dota 2 this is turning out to be a very pleasant experience with this gpu i was not expecting this again i told you this like three or four times already all right i think it Team fight is about to break out and they just got Shadow Fin there. Okay, FPS are dropping into the 40s. Uh, I could still play like this, to be honest. Like, I would have zero issues playing this game with these frames. Drops to the 40s is not too bad whatsoever. Oh, there we go, there we go. Void's ultimate, I told you, really intensive. 25 FPS there was the minimum. Eh, that's, that's not very good anymore, but you could also uh, drop the resolution a little bit if you wanted 30 plus FPS all of the time. Uh, again, I could still play like this, but things become a little bit too rough <laughs> whenever those effects happen on screen. So it's not really a competitive experience anymore. And the next game up is Tomb Raider from 2013. I'm gonna go over the settings right now. This menu is kind of a little bit messy because it's moving actually, but we're playing at 720p resolution with the normal quality settings. I am using the DirectX 9 API, as you can see right there, instead of DirectX 10 or 11 or whatever it is that this game runs on. Uh, this is a little bit less intensive and as you can see these are all of the settings in the screen okay as you can see it should probably be very very playable well it is <laughs> we're getting 40 something fps so this is crazy it's it's awesome this GPU was six years old when this game came out and keep in mind we're not playing at 1080p but that wasn't really a resolution that the HD 3850 was made for back in 20 2007 it wasn't really a popular resolution whatsoever so uh, yeah 720p running perfectly fine on this GPU even in this demanding scene right now it's yeah it's good it's playable you could play this game 
for five bucks. <laughs> There we go, we got a minimum FPS of 38 frames per second and 37 1% lows there, so that checks out. 60 FPS maximum, yeah I saw that actually, and 49 or 50 FPS on average. And it's time for Skyrim my friends, we're gonna go over to the settings, I think I'm gonna go with 720p resolution in this one, because, well... Uh, 1080p is a little bit too much for this card in this game, I believe. We're gonna go with the medium settings preset and no anti-aliasing because that's very intensive in this game. Uh, you can see the advanced settings over here, okay. Uh, yeah, 60 is not bad. This game is of course locked to 60 FPS as like pretty much all of the Bethesda titles, I believe. Almost all of them. The game's looking very pretty, even at 720p, you could definitely have fun playing this one. Now, I know at this point, Skyrim is kind of a meme, it runs on everything, it has been released on everything, even the Switch, so it's not real that impressive that we're getting these FPS at 720p resolution, but it's still good that you can pick up a GPU for five bucks and play Skyrim at 720p medium settings. Guys, it's just, it's just amazing. Oh my god, what the hell? Holy crap, I was not <laughs> expecting that. I actually got scared in Skyrim. Oh my, okay. Whoa, 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 everything's all right. And also, take a look at our VRAM utilization. 325 megabytes of VRAM, and it's... Okay, the textures do look quite dated, of course, but it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look too bad, at least. We're now in a village, and the FPS are still like very close to 60 fps sometimes the gpu utilization goes up to 99 percent uh, and then it drops by a couple of frames but skyrim is very playable you can actually have a ton of fun playing this game with a gpu like this one it is time for world of tanks what is that is that what's happening there's a flying ship there i am confused I, oh, oh wait, this is an alien world or what? I, I don't understand. Anyways, let's go over the settings here. We're playing at 1080p resolution using the low settings, which are actually the recommended settings. Right, we're here. We're getting extremely high frames. I was definitely not expecting this once again. Like, what is this? Why did you recommend low settings for this GPU game? Come on. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna start counting the FPS. I think medium settings compared to low is a lot more demanding, so if you want a good experience in World of Tanks, you don't even need to aim for 100 plus FPS, to be honest. This is kind of a slow-paced game, I believe. But if you want to be sure your FPS don't drop from 60, I think this is it. Like, I don't think it's gonna drop, guys. Oh my gosh, what the hell? Okay, this is too loud. I, I need to just... Um, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, this is... Yep, I am gonna die. I am definitely dead now. This was amazing. Very good experience. <laughs> Explosion there, slight stutter, not bad guys, it's good. Okay, let's do spectator mode. It definitely surpassed my expectations. I was expecting around 70 frames at these settings. We're getting like 100 on average, so this is crazy good. You can definitely play World of Tanks on a 5 bucks GP. I, I, I keep calling this 5 dollar GPU, but I didn't really buy the GPU. I got it inside of a a pre-built that I bought on eBay. I'm gonna review that soon, maybe next week. I just gotta find an SSD for it and uh, more RAM as well. But yeah, um, I got that one for 15 euros. PC, entire PC for 15 euros plus shipping 35. Shipping was 35, so it, it was 50 euros. <laughs> but anyways, this GPU came on it and I thought I'd review it. It's time for Battlefield 3, one of my favorite Battlefield games. 848 by 480 is the resolution. Uh, I wanted to get an average above 60 FPS and th this is what it takes, okay? <laughs> Low settings across the board as you can see. Let's go. Uh, it's still 16 by 9 though, so it still fills your entire display if you have a 16 by 9 display, of course. So it's not too bad, the resolution resolution I could play like this I played this game a lot with 800 by 600 res this looks a little bit worse than that but it's still doable if you just press Q all over the place you're probably gonna spot somebody as you can see right there okay so <laughs> just spam Q if you're playing this game it's a pro tip I'm not a pro but I played this game a lot spam Q and you'll see some Doritos appear in the map and 
then you can just shoot the Doritos instead of shooting people. So, oh my god! Okay, yeah, it's family friendly even, so that's great. Alright, there's a guy there. No, 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 oh my god! You know what, guys? We're gonna do some sniping now. Yes, that's exactly what I want to do, so I don't die too much, because the other team is made of pros, I think. There, oh, oh, I th oh, the bullet drop. Okay, I'm just, I'm trying to spot them. There he is, one of them. Got him. There's another one. That's a sniper guy right there. Got him. Oh my gosh, so many there. Two of them, <laughs> there's so many. <laughs> got one. Okay, it's all good. There we go, we got him. I'm first in my team, come on guys, they're not doing anything, look at their scores and look at our scores, this is totally balanced. Get up on your feet, we can do this. I got him, yes, oh, 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 this is the shotgun guy, one of them at least. Goddamn bastard, there we go, we got him. There's another one there. Oh, so many. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna leave it like that. 69 FPS on average. Perfect number right there. 1% lows in the 40s. This is rust and I don't think this is gonna run very well here. But okay, we're playing at 720p with the minimum settings. And this should theoretically run on a potato because it actually ran on the 710. The problem is we only have 512 megabytes of VRAM. Okay, here we go. Oh. What? I I did not expect this, my friends. Uh, the game is actually playable, unlike, for example, the uh, 8800GT, GTX 285, uh, 9800GT as well. Those older NVIDIA cards um, have an issue with popping trees and stuff, and we've, we've seen that here as well. But those couldn't even render the water and these things at the distance like that. You know, that industrial thing, I don't know. But uh, unfortunately, this one also uh, has the same problem with trees. I believe that's because of uh, our VRAM. We only have 512 megabytes of it, and that's not enough to run Rust properly. Um, yeah, so these trees are just popping all over the place, as you can see. I'm not even sure if the same thing happens to people, for example, if you can't spot people at long distances. I also played around with the view distance settings, and I'm gonna show it, actually. Uh, so, so far, the average FPS are not really that bad, to be honest. Like, 30 FPS, almost, on average, is quite playable. You could lower the resolution and have playable FPS, but it's not really doable with the pop-in issue but I'm gonna go ahead and show you draw distance to maximum uh, doesn't really do anything to our problem yep as you can see right there that will disappear yep so it's not the draw distance it's just the game that can't really be played on these low VRAM amount GPUs unfortunately or really old GPUs it might be doable I don't know man uh, you do you you do you I'm just saying that for me it wouldn't be a good experience. So, um, to my surprise, Overwatch actually launched in this card. I was not expecting this because this is a DirectX 10 GPU and Overwatch only runs in DirectX 11, but apparently it also runs in DirectX 10.1 GPUs, like the HD 3850. So that's a pleasant surprise right here. We're playing it at 720p with the low settings, 50% render scale. What is this? What is this madness? Holy crap, I'm gonna increase the graphics settings. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, well, I'm gonna go with 75% of 720p, which is like, what, 500 and something p? Oh boy, okay, it drops from 60 right now, so it's not a 60 plus FPS experience anymore, but it should still be playable. I'm gonna start counting our FPS, and uh, it still reaches 60 at times, which is definitely doable. This is, this is great. <laughs> Where are they? Alright, there they are. Uh, why? Oh boy, I just pressed shift to run away. Oh my gosh, I haven't played this game in so long. Okay, okay, thank you very much for the healing. Nope, nope. God damn it, I'm dead. Wow, okay, so now it's actually dropping into the 30s. So I, I'm gonna go back to that 50% render scale, guys. Okay, 50% again, 80s here. You know what? You could still play the game at 80% resolution scale. It does, it does look bad, but it doesn't look like crap, I guess. <laughs> Get over here. Nope, I'm, you're not gonna go over here. Uh, guys, I, I need to go now. Okay, oh god. 
Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Uh, I don't play this game at all. Don't expect good things coming from me. <laughs> Unfortunately. Oh, yep. Oh, oh. Oh, yes, we did it. I kind of did it, I guess. Yeah, that is very bad. I want my ultimate right now. It's still dropping from 60 FPS uh, with the, the 360p resolution. So this is not perfect. So this is actually a, a very pleasant surprise. I didn't even know that this game launched, let alone run well or kind of decently. It's not too bad, you know. God damn it, why do I keep pushing Reaper? He instant kills me. Not pushing, like pulling. Oh my gosh, my English is broken now. Thank you, Overwatch. Oh, everybody get out. Get out of there. <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. I spent all game waiting for my ultimate and I just, they, they, they put me to sleep, guys. But can it run Crisis? Let's find out. I'm playing this one at 720p resolution, as you can see right there, with the medium settings. And I'm just gonna disable motion blur because it's motion blur and I don't like it. All right, here we are. Okay, it's it's doable. It's It's very nice. Sometimes this GPU is actually a little bit faster than the GT710, but other times in some of the games, probably because of the drivers, it isn't. But Crysis is one of those games that uh, this GPU has no issues with. Of course, it released back in 2007, like this GPU, so it should be optimized to run. Well, kind of not because it's Crysis, but yeah, it's running way better than the GT710. That one got like 30, 35 FPS on average with the same settings. Uh, this one is getting 50 something, so extremely good results if you want to hop into crisis with a five dollar gpu um well you can do it the rocks are just popping in i no, i've never noticed that it's weird but it's playable still shouldn't really be that big of an issue um let's just explode this all right can we please there we go there we go so it drops into the 30s high 30s there with the explosion but it's, it's a perfectly playable experience, guys. Far Cry 3 right now at the 720p resolution, 1280x720, using uh, the optimal settings, which are the low settings for this GPU. And uh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. You could definitely play like this. Like, this game is playable with... 30 fps to be honest the uh, ps3 and xbox 360 ran this game below 30 fps at times it it fluctuated a lot between like 25 to 30 fps so if you want to play this game in this gpu it's actually very doable what is how did you die? What the hell? Game still looks decent at 720p, although it's a 2012 game. Uh, yeah, it looks good on low. I was very impressed at the time with the, the graphics coming from this game. Far Cry 3 was a beautiful game and still is, especially on ultra settings, but it didn't look bad whatsoever on low. And it's very playable. I am kind of impressed once again that this GPU is capable of providing these FPS because I played this game through twice with a lower end laptop back in the days at like 30 FPS or 40 FPS at times, maybe with a few drops here and there from 30. And I enjoyed the gameplay a lot. I had a lot of fun playing this game. That's why I played it twice. <laughs> Oh god, okay, yeah, alright, I'm gonna get out now because I don't want to die just yet. Uh, I'm gonna try to explode this, wait a second, let's see some explosions if we can. Can we do this? Okay, there we go, it's on fire. Please, oh, oh, I had a C4 all along. Okay, <laughs> anyways, drops into the 30s, near the smoke and near the fire, it doesn't seem like it's dropping from 30 FPS. This is awesome. This is a playable experience. I am impressed. Oh god. Okay, okay, okay. Let me just grab your bullets and reload, please. Alright. Uh, come on. Okay. I got him. I got him. Everything is fine. Ark Survival Evolved. Guys, this is not a good idea whatsoever. Like, it's obvious this game is very, very intensive. I am playing it at 640x480. You can barely see that, but uh, you can sort of make it out here. Uh, low settings, of course. You know what? Let's try it out first with the maximum resolution scale, which is actually 640x480. Oh, what's happening? Oh, okay. All right. What? 
Th there was oh my god, my hand. What is going on? Um. Look at the FPS, by the way. What the hell? 644 by 480 guys it, it actually works it's very hard to, to tell the one percent lows and the average is there but uh all right we're gonna roll with it for now yep it's it's not doable anymore <laughs> okay uh hello dodo how are you doing um yep it's stuttering one percent lows are below 10 fps at the moment it makes me think that it's playable but it's just an illusion guys don't fall for that crap as you can see there's stuttering issues and uh, as soon as we hop into a forest, I think it's gonna drop. You know what? I was completely wrong. Inside of a forest, we're actually getting 30 plus FPS all of the time. So, not bad. I was expecting worse, but to be honest, would you play Ark Survival Evolved like this with these graphics? You can barely see things, you know? Anyways, better than what I expected, that's for sure. My friends, we're now playing some Valorant. As you can see, we are at 720p resolution and low settings. Here we go. Alright guys, let's start counting our FPS. You can see already that the performance is extremely good with this GPU in Valorant. Valorant is one of those games, you know, it runs in everything. And I mean everything aside those uh, crappy old potatoes that are like rotten potatoes probably. G100, GeForce 210 for example. Yes, uh, if you have one of those you can't really play Valorant, but if you have something else well, there's a real chance you can, even with a 13-year-old GPU like this one. So, it's great to see that it performs in such a wide variety of hardware. You know, I love to see that. No, no, stop! God, you bastards, man! Be sandwiching me! These guys are really good! What the hell? I need to headshot them, like, first shot every single time, otherwise I'm dead! All right, oh, see that? <laughs> uh, all right, all right, let's see. Okay, okay. It's all good, friends, it's, it's all good. No, no, don't you, I was fighting the other guy, come on. No, not from behind, god damn it, every single time. Oh my gosh, no. Uh. Okay, okay, no, come on headshot headshot. There we go. There we go. Oh Jeez, oh jeez. okay, okay, okay five kills remaining. I'm still at 31 and dying <laughs> no more. You know what guys no only one kill remaining that's no no I'm never gonna do this now okay um, anyways this is definitely a very playable experience 132 FPS average very playable 1% lows in the 80s even wow it's just it's just great so my friends it's time for the conclusion of this video do I recommend the HD 3850 in 2020 well you know if, if you can find it for five bucks and if you really need a very cheap solution to play like Valorant or Dota 2 or CSGO, it can actually do a pretty decent job. I was surprised to see CSGO, Dota 2 and Valorant running so well. Okay, and it was also pretty capable of running other older titles, you know, if you want to play like Skyrim, for example, you can play it for five bucks if you have like a core 2 duo pc with no gpu or with a very weak gpu you can throw this in and for five bucks you got a a decent skyrim pc i guess so it's not too bad of course i don't recommend it for the majority of people that want to play the latest and greatest titles or uh, that want to play uh, esports titles competitively but if you are in a very, very, very tight budget. Well, maybe. For five bucks, it's hard to pass, guys. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll hopefully catch you guys in the next one very soon. As always, love you all. Bye-bye.